can't help the feeling that you and I won't get to see another day together. Looks like bad weather. I can see. Getting hard for me to find. You take me by my hand, and you're leading me We're going to take a look at one of my all-time favorite songs by Poco. Now, it was originally done by another band. I'll get more to that in just a second. Written by the same guy who was in both bands, by the way. But this is Bad Weather from Poco's fourth album, 1971, From the Inside. And uh, Paul Cotton had just joined the band because Jim Messina had left. Jim, the founding member with Richie Fure, and uh, Jim decided it was time to uh, go produce an album for his friend Kenny Loggins and that, that turned into a way bigger project and success than, than they had planned. So they had to replace Jim and I'm not quite sure how Richie knew to call Paul, but Paul had a band uh, called the uh, Illinois Speed Press and it was basically just a duet, they had a duo. They had made two albums uh, at that point and Paul had written a lot of songs. That, they, that the Illinois Speed Press did, including this one. So the original version of Bad Weather can be found, it's a little shorter than the Poco version, on the, I believe it was the first, ah, one of the two Illinois Speed Press albums. But, and it's a little faster, a little folkier, a little bluegrassier maybe, but, and a little, sh and shorter. Now, so Richie heard this song, and that's when, I think that's what got Paul the invitation to join the band. So uh, Paul joins the band and they do a couple of his tunes and they have still only medium success, even with the next album, A Good Feeling to Know, that, was, uh, that actually is my favorite of all my Poco albums, uh, which is about the first 10 or 15, I think. Um, I lost them at Legend, but anyway. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at Paul's song here. Now the, the Poco version, it does some really interesting things. It uh, runs through a fairly simple chord progression in the key of A, although then it kind of turns into the key of D. And then there's a little a solo. Rusty Young plays a great pedal steel solo, which we're not going to do, but we are going to take a look at what I was just doing there. I basically just played um, a, a flat picking solo, picking out the melody to the song. 
So that's what we're going to replace Rusty solo with is this. What the song does after the first solo, so the song also is very short on parts, two verses and a part if I'm only going to do it once, I'm going to call it the bridge. If I'm going to play it twice, I might call it the chorus. But that was the words are getting hard for me to find. What they do after the first solo is really interesting because they land on a G chord and turn it into a G7 and pick up the same progression now in the key of C. Not too unusual to uh, modulate to a different key for certain parts of a song. Um, what is really unusual about this one is they run through a verse in C and then they go back to A. And actually the C verse is really like in C and then partly in F. Like I said, the A verse is really partly in D. So we have a lot of chords in this song. We'll talk about all the chords separately kind of coming up. But it's just kind of a fascinating progression and series of progressions, including modulating up a step and a half and then coming back. Now, partly because they have a really cool solo in the key of D now that Richie plays. And we'll definitely take a look at Richie's solo. So we'll break all that down and we'll talk about strumming it and uh, uh, hopefully you can play a couple of bar chords. The, the nastiest one we need in here is a B flat, but Paul Cotton plays his B flats kind of short. He doesn't even make them as a full bar. Plays his G minors kind of as a little jazzier style, no bars. Plays his F without a bar as well. So, but uh, I'm not going to let you get away with that. We're going to play them as real chords or full chords because we probably don't have a band being able to play bass notes for us. So, um, okay. That's my preliminary thoughts on bad weather, and we'll start breaking it down next. <laughs> 